Hey guys, it's Axel here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Untold Dawn. Now, where we left off, um. Ash? Ash? Hey. Oh! I'm a master at quick time events. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, a lot happened. So, let's continue. We have a previously on, so let's watch that. ticket to the spirit realm I've just been through enough spooking for one night okay I see a hot bath in my crystal ball so have fun Jessica oh my god oh my god shit there is one individual we're considering as a person of interest but his whereabouts are currently unknown you know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? Alright, we're back with Dread. It seems like a great thing to start off. Jeez. He looks bad. That's not good. That's really not good. He still got the cut from when I make him made him smack himself up on the tree. <laughs> Cute doggos. Damn it. All right. Let's get a closer look. Mike is crazy. I mean, he probably thinks that that's the person that killed Jess. But like, if I see a complete stranger having two wolves that can very easily kill me, I would not go chasing after them. Mike, you're crazy. You look nice, though. Okay, those dogs gotta really just chill out. Just for two seconds. What did I just say? Uh, they're not gonna listen to me. Fair enough. But Mike, Mike is working out. Look, look at those abs. Like, he has the perfect... He has the perfect body. What is this? Oh, that's a fortune. Nice. Also, I know in these couple episodes, I like feigned ignorance and like pretended like I don't exactly know what's going on and I don't know the plot of the game. That's mainly because I'm trying to keep it blind for people that have never played this game or never seen this game. I, I definitely remember like almost everything about this game because I've... I've played it. Okay, the wolves are talking louder. They're trying to talk over me at this point, and I'm kind of getting upset. <laughs> but I, I definitely know everything about this game because a few years ago, when I first played it, I played it like like crazy, religiously. So if I don't know what's in the game, then that's like awesome. That's just me Why forgetting. I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth. Condemned. Unlawful for any person to use or occupy this structure for the width. 1954. Oh, you can actually see his hairs. Did you see that? Hold on, let me see that again. Look at that, you can see his hairs. Like, he, he has straight up, like, goosebump hairs. That's a nice detail. I, did, I never noticed that. But yeah, I know mostly everything about this game. And it's like one of my favorite games, like I've mentioned before. So if I forget stuff, 
or if I seem like I'm forgetting stuff, that's probably just ignorance. And me just, like, choosing to forget it. This game has so many, like, minuscule details that they wouldn't bother adding, like, the future games that they made. Like, the dark picture games. Because they make those, like, yearly. Which, it's already impressive making games on a yearly basis, but, like, they don't add, like, little details that will make people go back to the game. Like, I don't know what makes people go back to Until Dawn. Is it the actors? Is it the story? Is it the graphics? Is it just nostalgia? It might be a combination of all of that. To be honest, for me, it is all of that. And it's also, like, how many choices and how many different things are in this game. I kind of go back to that. Because not many games provide this much variety and provide the fact that when you kill a character, the game just moves on. Except, like, games like Heavy Rain and Detroit Become Human, which are amazing games. Okay, well, that that looks like it sucks. <laughs> Lost Totem? That seemed pretty deadly to me. But Detroit Become Human is a game... is another one of my favorites. Like, this, uh, this and until... Uh, this and Man... Wow. Okay. This and Detroit Become Human are, like, neck and neck on, like, my favorite decision-based games. Maybe Detroit Become Human a little bit higher, because that that took longer to make, and it has a lot more endings. And it has a lot more variety. But this game is just, like, amazing in so many ways. One of which including nostalgia. Do, 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 do. This Mike's crazy. Like, he could have just walked through the front door. In fact, the front door isn't even locked. So I could have walked through the front door. But he chose... He chose to go around. Which I don't know if that's smart or just really dumb. I mean, for Mike's sake. For getting all the collectibles' sake, going through there is actually smart. Because you don't get to go in there otherwise. Those wolves really are going ham. at it for a second. Yep, it's definitely locked. <laughs> Dang, those dogs are going for it. They're going places. There's collectibles over here. Don't want to miss them. I'm gonna try to get every single collectible in this game. It has been a couple of years, so I might forget where a couple of them are, but I'm gonna try to get all of them. Force them all out. Guess so. You need a nose peg. Those guys smell awful. I mentioned in the past that I'm not gonna read all the stuff, but if you want to know what it all says, then yeah, you could just straight up go outside. Just like get a good breeze. I don't know what the point is going outside, but you can do it. Look at that. I'm looking at that. Blackwood Pine Sanator Sanatorium. Opening opened 1922. Men's 
Sana in corpore sano. I don't speak Spanish. Or whatever language that was. I'm assuming that's Spanish. I... The only language I'm actually trying to learn is Japanese. Oh. And I never... T I really wanted to take a peek inside. Yep, and then you proceed to try and take a peek inside. But I never took any language classes when I was in school. Nice. Locking in cards. Oh, yeah, look at that. Very windy outside. Boop. Found a camera. Broken camera. What happened to his hands? Look at that. That's just... Wow. What happened there? That just looks gross. You really messed it up. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Probably not. Nope. Huh. Reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Dang. I love how Mike looks both scared and brave at the same time. For some reason, in this part of the game, you can't, like, move Mike's head fully like you can with the other characters, like, when their f face is up on the f camera. The only thing he can move is his eyes. Like, you can't move his head, which is weird. I don't know why you can't move his head, but you just can't do it. And, uh, and like, every other part of the game, you can move the characters' heads, like, fully. But not Mike in this section. And I think that's I think this is the only section that you can't do it. Look, that was a rat. Medical notes. Collapse of the mine. One of these guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Dr. Bowen. Okay. Seems to be accidents from Cavens and stuff like that. I'm only summarizing the uh, clues. Because if I read every single one, these videos would be like hours long. Which, as much as I'd be fine with videos being an hour long, not everybody would be willing to watch all of that. A lot of people watch the first part, though. Oh shit. Well, not the whole gross. thing. They watched it. That is gross. But a good 5-6% watched the entirety of that Until Dawn Part 1. That was like an hour long. But the latest episode, that's like 30 minutes, It's it has like a good 10-15% people watch the whole thing. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start trying to make them like 30 minutes or something. Not make them an hour, because people won't stay for the whole hour. Holy shit. Oh. What happened here? No, no, it looks like a good time. Go in there. Go in there, Mike. Look at that. Twisted fuckers like to watch, I guess. Uh, yeah.
But I hope you're enjoying this series of Until Dawn. I'm, I'm really enjoying playing this game again. And I really in, am enjoying uploading these videos. But I, I'm wondering if you, if you all are enjoying these videos. Like, all of them. Move, Mike. Okay, there's nothing there. Mike. I know there's things in the way, but can you just, uh, like... This is... There we go. What could... Uh, who? Who the hell would it... <laughs> he can't even finish a sentence. He's completely dumbfounded. That wasn't a clue, for some reason. I didn't even read what that said. Let me go back and read what that said. <laughs> How many days will they keep us here? That's what I said. I mean, if you got pictures like that on the wall, I think you'll be fine. But I know the prequel to Until Dawn, the Impatient, the VR game, is the is like what happened in the sanatorium, and I I'm, I will play that as well. I've never played it before, so that that'll be blind. But I kind of know what happens because this game kind of explains it. But it would be nice to play the actual game game. Reply immediately. Reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. Telegram about miners. Who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? This paradise. You really emphasize that word. Hey, skeleton. How you doing? There's nothing even. Uh, there's nothing even over here. It just has a good skeleton shot. Look at that. That is a really realistic looking skeleton. I like that there's still lights on in the sanatorium, despite the fact that the last person that was here was... Well, I mean, the guy, the guy that is walking around with the wolves probably set those up. But other than that, the last people that were here were in, like, 1955. So the fact that there is still some lights is kind of crazy. But then again, the guy probably set that up. Oh, oh, oh. Well, feeding them? Gotcha. Oh! Ooh, Mike. I gotta hand it to you. That looks very painful. Pun totally intended. Open bear trap, amputate fingers. I'm going for the fingies. I'm going straight for the fingies. Oh shit. 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 Oh Oh, man. Okay, two things about that circumstance. One, if you, like, tried to open the bear trap, you can still amputate your fingers, like, after multiple tries. <laughs> and if you take longer and longer to amputate your fingers, it's going to be more and more painful for them. So I just, th I just thought, like, swiping it all off. And two, I could have very easily ignored that. I could have just walked right by it, because I knew what was going to happen. But I want... 
I wanted you all to experience that. <laughs> Up, Chatterbox. Hanging out. <laughs> Me too. He's a, he thinks he's a funny guy. He's making jokes even after he chopped off two of his fingers. I know what happens if you try to open the bear trap like fully. Like, fully committed to that. Um, I'm not going to let you all know what happens. I might make a second let's play of me doing other decisions, but if you want to find out for yourself, you sh I recommend getting this game. Nicholas Bowen. Emergency medical tag. Attacked by inmate. Owie. I think uh, the, this game is on PlayStation Now, on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. Uh, it's 20 bucks, not like a full $60 game. It's definitely worth it. Additional notes. Body was not discovered until 6 to 8 hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. That's hot. So sick, bro. That's gross. Okay, there, there's the key card he needed. Okay, let's check this out. I wonder how that rat felt. Like he it, is the rat itself grossed out, or was the rat just like, oh yeah, this this is a nice place, perfect for me, good place for the munchies. Like, do do animals have, like, the thought of like things being gross, or are they just fine with anything? I mean, there's a couple cats or dogs that I've seen where they like gagged at like horrible uh, smells but like do they have the concept of grossness when they see gore or when they like like if a rat goes inside of like a body does the rat know that they're inside of a body or do they just next okay that was just rude I was in the middle of talking Rats probably see bodies as like a cave. But then again, they have their own body with their own intestines, so they probably have the concept of intestines and stuff like that. So I don't know, maybe they see it as gross, but they just go and feed anyways. I mean, if the body's dead, then the intestines are no longer intestines, they're just like very dry soft caves this is a really nice crib though Mike I don't th I don't know why you're judging he's silently judging this crib honestly I would live here if like everything was fixed <laughs> I, I would I would I would rather get haunted in a sanatorium and live here. Why not? Boop. Boop. Nice. Okay. Not gonna hit the dog. 
There's 27% that hit the dog? Easy. What the? Easy. What is wrong with you all? Easy. That's a good one. Well, they probably saw what happens if you don't hit the dog, so they probably hit the dog anyways. Hey, pupper. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna approach you. I'm gonna pet you. That's a good boy. That's right. Don't worry. I'm nice. I'm kind. Easy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. Hey, guy. You like that? Yeah. And everyone likes a little loving, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. He befriended a dog. Can I pet the dog again? I want to pet the dog again. Guy? You like that? Yeah. You know, everyone likes a little loving, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, he just repeats himself. He just repeats himself. But you do get to go back so and pet him, pet him again. What have we here? Jacket. Nice. Glad someone just left that jacket just laying there. You made a mess. Nice. Is that soda? Is that was that can? There's cans of sodas right there. I wonder what kind of sodas are in this universe. Probably like real life sodas, but that didn't seem that didn't seem like a soda I recognize. It might not even be soda. It might be like Lacroix uh, or something. We found the Stogie Man. What's in the box? What's in the box? Maybe this will keep the wolves fat and happy. Maybe. Let me let me put the uh, let me give the pupper the bone. Let me befriend him even more. I've I've already been petting him like crazy. Let me give him a bone now. Hey, Wolfer. I got a bone for you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. There you go. Easy, boy. Easy. There you go. By finding the dog even more, by giving him a bone. Can I go back and get another bone? Just, like, completely spoil this dog. <laughs> I don't know. Fucking freak. He's a freak! He's a full on freak! 14 missing in mountains. Local man found dead. Liars. Bigfoot sighted in a. Oh, they found Bigfoot? Nice. Is that Bigfoot on the top right? I don't know, it might be. Dang, I'd, lo I'd love to see you. Uh, this in this universe they actually found Bigfoot, or is it like a fake story? But chances are it might be. Oh, you can't grab another one. But chances are it's probably a fake story. Is there anybody uh, anywhere else I can go in? Nope, doesn't seem like it. All right, let's go. Before I'll come back. I was gonna give you another bone, but the game won't let me. Bang. I mean, that's a really... I don't know if that lock he just shot was a really old lock, like 1955 lock, or was it the lock that uh, the old guy used? Or the one guy that was here used? Cause if it was like a 1955 lock, he could have he could have just smashed it. He didn't have to shoot it. He didn't have to waste a bullet. But if it was like a recent one, then I kind of understand why he did that. Boop. A photo. 
Miner's rescue photo. The Miracle Men. Caven. Not good. What is this? Another totem? Another totem! Look at that. 30 minutes in? We're already 30 minutes into the episode? Holy crap. Oh, snap. Death totem. That You know what? That makes sense. He just blew himself up. I like how this entire game, the game doesn't give you the option to run. If this game gave you the option to run, you'd I'd be I would have beaten this game like an hour ago, or at least beaten this, or gotten towards the end of the game like an hour ago, or something. But like the characters just always walk, and that's in like all the games that they've made, not counting the phone and VR games. They made a uh, game where you had to use your phone. It was like a detective game. I made a let's play of that as well. Oof! I hate that word. Absolutely despise it. Look what you did, Mike. I don't know how he didn't see the fire. But... He just... That's rude. That's just straight up rude. Boop. Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. I like he had to how he had to hold on the button to figure that out. I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. They make a good point. M Mike is kind of like the rebellious, like, I don't really look where I leap, I just go for it paint? type of guy. And it's I kind of respect fresh. him for that. Fresh paint. Red paint. Don't know why red paint would be here, but okay. Boop. Another totem. Oh! That was definitely a death totem. He, uh... Got a good old splat. He played a quick game of Splatoon. <laughs> He's okay. in the red team in case people didn't know. I feel better with an axe. And that should be Axe Body Spray slogan. I feel better with an axe. Look, I'm trying. <laughs> I've already played this game, so I'm trying to improvise some jokes. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. No, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Help Emily through? Smash the door. That's, um... You know what? Should I smash the door? Should I help Emily through? You know what? There, uh, I almost smashed the door. Although there's more people that have helped Emily through, and considering I have a good relationship with Emily, she'll actually go through it. But I'll, I'll smash the door. Okay, fine. Here it goes. I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! Just do it! Boom! Boom! Here's Johnny. Oh wait, no. Here's John. There it is. The timing was off. But if you help Emily through, there's like a very secret dialogue that not many people have witnessed. I've made a video about that as well. 
crazy. We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's got to be the guy, the, the one who, who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's got to know this is the only way back. Don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You, you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered. Oh. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? Even if he jumps it, what can he what can he do? Cause like there's not much he can do Everything once he gets like over there. So busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Maddie Boy is such a good actor. But yeah, I made a video, uh, if you help Emily through and just walk away from her, she like starts getting completely mad at you. I made a video about that a couple years ago. That actually had more views than the current Until Dawn video that had has a bunch of views on right now. Such a mess. This place was barely in working I'll put that in the description. So y'all can see that. If there's anything I'm good at at this game is knowing the secret di uh, secret dialogues and secret cutscenes so that you there's all can experience it. Something we can do. I'm all ears. Well, look at all this crap. There's got to be something useful in here, right? Hey, look. I'll show you all the Fire secret cutscenes and all the secrets that I know about this game. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Magellan. Like this. If you look back at uh, if you look back at it, they talk more about it with the sanatorium. A mental hospital. <laughs> Great. That's like totally gross. No, just creepy. <laughs> Do that. I am the Until Dawn connoisseur. Very friendly. Unfollow. Unfollow. That's probably where the. That's probably the paint. They don't, they don't even mention the paint. Great. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> What about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Well, I, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or, or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we got to get to that radio. I, I don't know. I don't feel like that's a good idea. I don't think so. Oh, I mean, that could work, but I, I, I kind of think that maybe we should get back to the lodge for now. I mean, everyone, everyone's been split up for so long. Wait, so first you want to leave the lodge, now you want to go back? You don't know what the right thing to do is any more than I do, Matt. And I say that we should go to the fire tower and get on the radio and call for more help. And that's that. Okay. If, if you feel that strongly about it. I do, Matt. I'm surprised that you don't, too. I do. I do. Really. Oh, she didn't like that. Is a relationship down? I haven't checked this, like, the entire game. How was it? Oh, it went up. Oh, it's still, like, really high, though. Oh, but he absolutely hates Mike. Why does he absolutely hate Mike? I mean, there was, like, a confrontation I had at the beginning of the game, but, like, he didn't look through the telescope. Oh, well. Wow. Rude. But there's like a bunch of different dialogues that you can have in this game depending on your relationship with Emily. Like that confrontation that I just had, if you disagree and you don't have a good relationship with Emily, she says something else. Um, and I think she has like a third alternate dialogue because I'm pretty sure I remember a third one. Look at this bad boy. You're coming with me, buddy. Or may may maybe I just forgot. But, just like magic. Come on down. We can totally get out here this way. That's true, but I'm in the middle of talking. But <laughs> don't, don't interrupt me, Emily. But uh, if you agree or disagree in that moment, depending on your relationship with her, she has different responses. Matt, let's go, please. Emily, I'm like informing my audience. You would know if you had an audience, but you don't. 
<laughs> I got you. I got you, Emily. Forever and ever. <laughs> Told you. You're all right. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um you should go first to protect me. She would. Uh, I remember that if you miss catching her, she get, she gets like so mad. <laughs> okay, easy now. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. You got this, Emily. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Holy cannoli! Thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Cannolis. But yeah, this game has so many alternate dialogues and alternate scenes and stuff like that. They they have so much in this game, and I'm. I'm always astounded by how much they added. Guidance totem. Okay, well, I'm gonna. If it's a guidance totem, I'm gonna give the flare to him. But yeah, this, this game has a lot of secrets. It and it has a lot of heart radio. into it. Work. But, okay, if it doesn't, we need a I mean, they worked on it for like three, four years, so I guess I understand why. We can just climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up, wait it out. It, it'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. That's true. That's very true. The, the, Emily, like, she said she has, like, a 4.0 IQ. And I kind of see it, because she's, like, very smart. Like, if even if you hate or love Emily, you have to admit that she's pretty smart. When she wants to be. And so is Matt, but Matt is just... Matt is just the king of everything. And also, Jordan Fisher is like an amazing actor, like the person who plays Matt. He's an amazing actor, he's an amazing singer. Huh? What's this? That looks like a mess. Oh, this is Beth's phone. I thought the police, like, swept the whole area. Well, it looks like they missed this. They swept the whole area, but they missed the phone. I mean, the only way we were able to find the phone was because of the creek on the wood. So, I, I'm not surprised that they missed it. But then again, like... Isn't isn't there like apps that you can use where you can find phones? Uh, what ha what's? I was stuck on the fence for a second there. Also, that phone we can probably sell it for some money. Oh, nice. Fortune totem, sweet. This game is beautiful. I mean, there's a lot of games that are a lot more beautiful than this game, but like for its time, like this is 2015, and it looks really good. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. And also, if you miss catching her before, she uh, the dialogue when you look at this changes. I'm the king of the world. Am I flying, Emily? Please tell me I'm flying. I mean, there, there was a scene where uh, he did fly and he died, so maybe I maybe I shouldn't fly. Maybe even Matt is not fit to fly. He's fit to stay on the ground. Matt, what is that? 
That was me. My bad. I don't know. Jesus. Moose. What do they call a pack of moose? I don't know. They call it something. Okay, whoa. Hey Sam. You're in the you're in the tub. She was in the tub the entire time. But uh I'm gonna end it here. We'll see what happens to Sam in the next episode. This episode's getting pretty long. <laughs> I kind of expected it to be thirty minutes, but it's like forty six 45 minutes um but i'm gonna end it here thank you everybody for watching if today's your birthday happy birthday if you sneezed on this video bless you if you had a bad day i truly hope this helped cheer you up in some way i'm gonna try to trim this video down as much as i can but it's still gonna be pretty long because the first chapter i played was like 30 minutes and uh yeah see you everybody see you in the next video